Hey everyone, Hunter back again. Uh, doing a little showcase here on my fourth ever completed car build. Uh, this here is the Tamiya Skyline GTR. Uh, it is pretty much a box stock kit. In fact, I think, yes, this model is box stock from front to back. Uh, the few things I did a little different on it was the hood of this car is actually done with uh, Scale Motorsports carbon fiber decals, uh, which was a lot of a learning experience for me. Um, I thought it would be a lot easier because I've pretty much um, got the application of decals down, but when I got to um, putting these decals on this hood and and following these compound curves, it was uh, quite entertaining to say the least. Uh, I'll hold it up here and see if we can get the camera to zoom in on the um, on the uh, carbon fiber that's on the hood. And it doesn't look like it will zoom in. The carbon fiber is very fine on the hood of this. Um, you can start to see some of the pattern to it there. But that entire hood is one decal, and I will tell you that it is not an easy thing to do. Uh, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience, and I actually redone this hood. I think this was my third attempt at doing this hood, and I finally got it to lay down with a lot of micro set and a lot of micro saw. I uh, also used the carbon fiber decals on the spoiler itself. Uh, but other than that, this one's nothing special. This was painted with uh, House of Color uh, Strato Blue Pearl. And it is cleared with uh, DuPont Nason. And it's all, you know, like I say, it's all box stock. Uh, I can show you the underneath here. Um, nothing fancy. It's just the way that Tamaya made it. I cleaned up all the mold lines, injector pin marks, and you know, addressed all the basics. Um, this car actually was built to compete in the box stock class, and it's been pretty successful so far. Uh, it hasn't won everything it's been to, but it's, uh, it, it's done pretty well. It's placed a lot of seconds and thirds, so for a box stock model, I mean, I'm real happy with that. Um, so, you know, that just goes to prove, like I said before, that you don't need to put a lot of um, aftermarket stuff all over these models and, you know, photo etch and all that kind of stuff. You, you, you It's nice to have, and but you don't need it. Um, you can build a nice, clean box stock model and put it down in a category. And if you have your modeling basics perfected um, and, you know, you've turned out you've learned how to paint and you can turn out a good paint job and you know how to buff it out and, and you know do all the finishing to it and uh, display it on a nice base um, you can do well with a box stock model uh, this model here is proof of that um, but that gives you an idea of how my little uh, GTR came out with I'm real happy with it and um, you know it's uh it's nothing spectacular uh, but it's, I'm real happy with the way that it turned out, and, you know, I think a lot of other people are. They really find an interest in it at the shows. Um, I've also put it in the uh, import tuner class at the shows, and it's done pretty well. It uh, doesn't have a lot of first place awards, and probably a lot of that is because it is um, very much a box stock model. And in the import tuner class, those guys kind of go all out. I found that out at the last show that I went to in Kentucky. Uh, this model actually placed, I think it was second or third in that class. I, I don't remember right offhand, but uh, the car that won it was phenomenal. Um, it was actually all cut open. The doors, the hood, the trunk, uh, super detailed. Uh, just an amazing model and uh, very deserving of the first place win. And just to get on the podium with uh, with models that are built to that level was, was an accomplishment for me. And, and I'm very proud of that, so... But, uh, you know, for you guys that, you know, you look at a lot of models and you, you see all the photo etch and all the aftermarket stuff, don't get discouraged by that. You know, just keep doing what you're doing and, and work on building a very clean box stock model. And if you're interested in going to the shows, you know, definitely take it and, um, you know, put it on the table and see what it does. And if it doesn't, you know, place or doesn't do well, maybe ask a judge, you know, what you can do to... Uh, 
to make it better or, you know, what you need to do different to get on that podium. Um, you know, because once you start getting on the podium and, and learn what it takes to get there, uh, you'll start producing a lot better models because you'll know what to look for. And, um, you know, that that's how I've learned. I started out five years ago in, in competition, and I've learned a lot over the five years that I've been in it. So, um, but I've also learned that box stock models can place just as well as a super detailed model. So, but anyway, that's my little uh, Skyline GTR from Tamaya. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. And I've got a couple more uh, showcase videos coming up here pretty soon, so stay tuned for those. And I'm going to let you go tonight on that one, and I thank you for watching.